Hey guys, welcome to yet another video. In this video, we are going to look at Redmi Note 8 Pro's hidden settings. Now remember, these settings may be available on other Redmi phones, may not be as well. And there are some neat settings tucked inside the menu system where you can find and change it for the better of your Redmi Note 8 Pro. So the first hidden setting that I'm going to show you is about power ends the call. Where it is, just go to the settings here and here you will find additional settings. And inside additional settings, you have the accessibility. Now just tap on this one and here you will find power button ends the call. There you go, power button ends the call. What this basically does is while you are talking on the phone, you don't have to like uh, tap on the end the call button. Instead, you can just enable this feature and whenever the call comes and you want to disconnect the call, just press the power button. It's quite a natural thing that happens when you talk. So while you are speaking, just press the power button from one hand and obviously the call gets disconnected. This is one a very shortcut thing that you can use to end the call very quickly. Again, the second setting is inside this accessibility where you can, let's say you are playing some movies or videos, there you can actually enable the captions right away from here. So automatically the captions gets enabled if the video has that function. So basically you have the caption function here, just enable this one and here you can change the language to whatever you want. You can keep it, text size as well, you can change also the caption style like how you want the caption to be and based on that based on your preference you can change that so that's again an, a nice feature which is available in accessibility the next one is again inside the settings additional settings so we are right here in additional settings here you can find the quick ball this is one function that i really loved about this MIUI version where you can actually select shortcuts like if i enable this quick ball as you can see that there is a little tiny arrow mark here like sort of semicircle. just if I tap on that, it gets enabled. From here, I can actually customize what I want to do. Let's say I want to quickly open Chrome. That's how I have enabled here. You can just tap on this and choose whatever you want. Let's say you want to uh, quickly open Facebook application. You can actually go to other apps here, choose Facebook, uh, like I have already set that. So just tap on that. And once you have done that, wherever you are on the mobile phone, even on the lock screen as well, just tap on this one and just tap on Facebook. Instantly you can access all the shortcuts. Just tap on this one, access Chrome browser. Just tap on this one and instantly I can turn on the torch. I can go to contacts instantly. So this is how you can very quickly go to or rather switch to any applications. Now remember it's in the settings here and go to additional settings there you will find quick ball just turn this on select shortcuts and choose whatever you want to do now if i want to clear cache quickly just if i tap here and tap on the cache function so it instantly clears the cache memory so this is how quickly you can use there is also other setting here like if i want to tap that or preferred gesture is swipe so if i quickly swipe like this the torch gets on as you can see it instantly turned on the flash. Now again, if I just hold and just leave it like this, so the torch gets off. This is how quickly you can use these functions. You can also choose to uh, show it on the lock screen. Let's say I'm on the lock screen right now. So if I just tap on this one and tap on Chrome, so instantly the Chrome browser gets opened. So the next important setting is inside the settings. Again, we will go to my device here. So here you just tap on this all specs and what you'll find is internal storage here. Just keep tapping on this one for like five times and here you'll be entering the phone info testing phase. This is very a nice thing you can actually test on your own. Like if you have uh, any doubt regarding your phone, just go to phone information one. Here you can find all the bandwidth information, IMSI number, phone number. So whatever the phone contains, basically you can it's just like getting all the information of your phone right away at your fingertips right here. You can use view sim address book, fix dialing numbers, enable data connection and all that stuff. You can even turn off the mobile radio power from here. Video calling provision, you can literally turn this off. So this is again phone information too. So you can get all the information that's required here even you can get the wi-fi status information so this is where you'll find just keep tapping on the internal storage for like five times and you will enter to that phone info similarly you have another setting if you just keep tapping on the kernel version for five times you will enter the cit this is basically a mobile testing like if you have any problem or issues with your mobile phone you can literally go here and check if everything is functioning properly or not let's say i want to test 
uh, the notification light. So if I just tap on the notification LED, backlight max. So if I just tap on that, backlight maximum, again backlight minimum. So battery light white. So here it was. Turn on the flashlight. You can even modify the flashlight. I'll just show you. You can literally change the brightness of the flashlight like here. So if I just tap on this one, so everything if uh, it works properly, you can uh, it gives you pass otherwise it gives you failed as notification. So this is how you test various aspects of your phone right away from here. Similarly, you can test the speaker. Six, five, six, five. So pass. So that's how you can change again. It automatically goes to the next test. So you can also check version. So there is IMSIE number. So all the information that you want to test about your phone can be found here, including main camera, dual camera, fingerprint sensor check, battery indicator, and all this thing, electricity 91%, temperature 32.4 degrees Celsius. So this is how you can actually test the mobile phone. So these were the settings that I wanted to show. There are uh, so many more settings still on this phone. You make sure you watch the next video that I'm going to make about the Redmi Note 8 Pro. And uh, if you like this video, hit that like button, share it with your friends and don't forget to click on that subscribe button. All right guys, see you all in another one. Till then take care everyone. Bye bye.